How's it going guys? It's Poetry Side and welcome back to another episode of the Europa Universalis 4 um, Isolationist Japan campaign. That's the thing. Um, yeah, we're going to be, you know, this is a new day of recording so I don't really remember exactly what's going on, but we are at war with Pasai. I think we're going to go to war with Korea soon. Soon too, right? Yeah, we don't have a truce with them anymore. Uh, what are, we only have... Uh, we only have claims on one province. That's not good, but most of it's not too high development. But still, we should get at least one more claim. Um, probably on that one, huh? It might take at least two more wars to get all the Korean land, but that's okay. We're also going to be eating some Manchurian land, I believe. Um, Tech-wise, okay, I was going to say, either we're really bad on points right now or we're way ahead. Uh, we are ahead... Ideas, we have one of every type, but those aren't as important. Um, okay, hold on, I think my volume might be a little too loud. No, it actually looks pretty good. Hopefully you guys are fine if the volume might be a little off. I've been like streaming and stuff, and that changes my settings. Um, yeah, I think we're actually doing all right. I think we're actually getting closer and closer to the point of being able to take on Ming, um, Navy-wise. Basically, I think the main thing that's keeping us back from attacking Ming is Navy. And yeah, actually, we have a larger Navy than them. Um, however, I think their Navy is stronger because of all the heavies. We need to build at least five more heavies, and I would say at least like 15 more galleys before I feel confident. Um, but that shouldn't be too strong. We have the cap for it. And we, so I say, you know, I say once we get our, um, once we're done consolidating Korea as well as some of Southeast Asia, I think we will be good. Um, so let's go in and unpause here. We're just sieging down these guys. Um, Kada, yeah. I think we were going to convert the religion, if at all possible. Was it going to be possible? No. Why can't we enforce the religion? Is it because... I think it's because they have to be of your religious group. Which they're not. Okay, that makes sense. That's right. You have to. They have to be of your religious group. Like Sunda, we could, right? No, no. Hindu is in the Indian religion group, which is just... Sikh and Hindu. I can never remember if I'm saying that right. Is it Sikh or Sikhism? Sikh, Sikh, you know? Oh, I'm showing my ignorance right now. But okay, you guys know what I mean, though. Um, but yeah, I think we will. Let's go and let that naval battle happen. Um, so Keda, I think we want to go ahead and peace you out. I don't care to vassalize you. We already have Johor. Um. So I suppose we're going to go ahead and just take your money. You have a lot of money, right? Yeah, a good chunk of money. War reparations. We could transfer trade power too, but pff, I don't really care. And all treaties with Pasai. You, you wouldn't do it? What? Don't make me laugh. Come on. I'm just going to smash your army. Yeah, stack wiped. How you feel now? Yeah, not so great, do you? Give me your money. Give me your war reps. And that. I could even make you release so Nah, well, whatever. Let's just peace you out. Okay, you've been peaced out. Pasai, we have 100% war score with. So we're going to go ahead and I think what we're going to do is we're going to come up here. And we are not focused. Oh, we're focused on Diplo. Okay. I think that's good. It doesn't really matter, honestly. Oh, man. I can't wait till we get that infantry combat ability. Oh, it's going to be great. Okay. Um, Peace out. What do we have claims on? Two provinces. I think we honestly are only going to take those two. Honestly, I don't even know if we want to take both uh, both of them. I think we might just take Syak. And you be you may be saying, why wouldn't you take more? Because it's so expensive to core, you know. But we should take both the ones we have cores on. We have if we have enough, we should do it. Um. But it's fine. It's not really like a big deal if we take our time with this. The only thing is, eventually they start to colonize. Do we, do you have it yet? Not yet. Eventually they start to colonize these provinces here, and that just annoys me, you know? But again, we already killed the Spice Island dudes, and we're going to kill uh, soon, to, soon as well. Luwu is our vassal. Also, hey, someone, um, someone said, hey, you should enforce the religion. You are completely correct. Thank you for, for that. Um, they're a little upset now, but heck, you know, we have, we have 99 prestige. There you go. No longer upset, so you'll at least pay me my taxes. <laughs> uh, Johor, I believe we were also going to, right? 
sure. Let's do it again. Let's do that once at least. But they should be fine. They shouldn't really get too uppity. I don't really care. Um, and beyond that, let's bring you back down to Johor. Uh, and let's go ahead and peace out. I think we just take those two and so much money. Oh my god. So much money. Okay. Uh, we should lower that when we get a chance with our, our points and whatnot. Um, beyond that, though, let's go over here and we're going to do what I said. We're going to build some navy up because I believe we have a we have a large amount of shipyards. Yeah, the, everything below Kyoto, really, south and, and, and west of Kyoto. So what was I going to say? Oh, what was I saying? We're going to do... Um, we're going to do... One, two, three, four, five, six. Why not just do that? Let's go a little overboard, but it's fine. It's worth it, I think. Um, and then we build a lot more of these galleys. That's 11. I think we do double that many. Yeah, there we go, okay. Um, and then I think we build some, we have plenty of transports right now, so I think we build, in the rest of our country, I think what we do is we come over here to the northern side of the country, even though it'll take longer, it's fine, I don't really care about being super efficient, um, necessarily. Let's go ahead and build up another good chunk of trade ships till we hit our force limit. There we go, cool. Spent like, you know, a thousand ducats, but that's actually not that bad. I think it's and it's certainly worth it, almost certainly. All right, sorry about that message notification. Um, we're gonna do that. They're gonna be a little bit uppity here, aren't they? Yeah. So what we do is take you, and we're gonna leave you. We're gonna leave you in these in this province here to actually uh, sort of keep it, keep the unrest and stuff to a minimum. Um, Oh, fudge. I alt-tabbed out because I was trying to look at OBS to make sure it's not too loud. Alright, we're good. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and unpause. We're going to get everything ready here uh, from Luwu. Yes, absolutely I'll Royal Marry you. I need to Royal Marry you, but not just yet. Hey, there we go. 100 population. Buryasha. Or Buryadia, as I call them. Um, They want to ally me? I mean, that actually seems like an alright thing to do. We could, like... We could maybe use them against Ming, although I kind of doubt it, but might as well try. Um, I do want to go to war with Khmer at some point in time, but maybe we'll go to war with Champa first. Uh, we don't border them, though, so can't do that yet, really. I suppose in the meantime... Oh, yeah, take the points. Our truce with Johor is ended, okay. Let's go ahead and take you, hop you on the boats, and we're going to go up to Korea. We don't really, honestly, I don't think we really need two armies up here. Um, but we might as well have them, just to make it a little bit, go a little faster. You know, whatever. And then once you drop that army off, just go there actually, yeah, and then after you get dropped off. I'm actually going to bring you to back down here because we're going to have to fight some other rebels as well. Okay. We have, uh, we have one colony going on right now, right? Yeah, and Panay. 274. Not great. It just started. That's okay. Um, this event is good. I really don't want our legitimacy to go down any further, though. So I'm going to do that. It's Why is it so bad? I think it must have just been we had a weak claim ruler or something. Our air is decent enough, so that's good. Okay, siege general and semi-siege general, but better batter, batter, battle general. Good. Okay, so I think we want um, you guys all... Oh, nice event. I like it. You guys are all going to come over there. Join the war fleet. Also, take the rest of these extra guys. First do that. And then put them, like, over here. Um, And then you guys, all of the trade ships, also come over here. Group up. Hey, nice. 
free 50 military points. Um, let's go ahead and convert some more. And I think we will just go ahead and take this. Yearly Army Tradition is pretty good. Quality is going to be so good. It's definitely, I think, like necessary for what we're trying to do. Take out Ming, you know? But we're getting pretty strong, I, I think, at least, you know? I'd say we're getting pretty strong. Hmm. Okay. Um, we're gonna wait till we can get a- we have a claim on Pyongyang, and we need a claim on Huangzhou, and then I think we'll be good to go. I think that's what we're- that's what we're gonna do. Hey, colonized Panay got settler chance of global settler increase. That's a good mission. I like doing it. It used to be even more overpowered when they would have the, um, when they had the, uh, when you could just send it and not keep it there at all. You just send and then recall immediately. That was super, super overpowered. Yongsong is Manchu. Bruneian Separatists, huh? Where? What is that? Return Province, huh? I don't normally look at that button, I don't think. Uh, oh my god, there's more ships, huh? Oh yeah, that's right, I did two rounds. How could I forget that already? Um, Take all you boats. And bring you over here. Again, our navy is getting quite intimidating, I gotta say. Yeah, there they are. They should... Uh, let's, let's take you. So they should... Um, they should come attack us. That's what I was gonna say. Okay, and you guys, do you, any of else, yeah, some other ones need upgrading, that's what I was going to say. And you guys, go to the, we have a, ooh, I actually don't, ah, uh, kind of sucks. Can we avoid a loan? No, I'm going to do that. We do have a shipyard here, right? Yeah, okay. So, you're all repaired now, come over here into the the sea tile here um hmm there they go they're gonna attack me which is what i was hoping for oh god they might actually win oh no we're gonna win but only barely which i don't really appreciate don't appreciate that game it's not the game's fault oh i mean it is if you're, you know for being honest tidoran separatists tidor that's ternate I really, I don't want to have to keep fighting you guys over and over again, but I don't think we have a, a choice right now. Yeah, take it, you savages. Um, I will take this right away to get the global settler increase. Um... No, I think I'm good. Let's see, what else do we want? Um, what are we doing? Okay, so yeah, let's get a claim on that province there. And there's Conquer, Conquer Yong Song. I don't really want to, because it, well, it's like, so, I do think that eventually we want to make Manchurian a promoted culture, just because it has so much, like, it's, each, once you get up here, there's not a whole lot of development. But there's just so many provinces in total, and then you can convert these things when you conquer them, you can convert them to um, Manchu. So maybe we'll take that and that'll be our, you know, our first step. Um, or whatever. Let's see, this is... It's part of the same state, too. So maybe we want to do that anyways. Could be fun. Might as well conquer. It's three development. Who cares, you know? And it kind of helps in that sort of natural barrier that I was talking about. Um, so let's go ahead and take that mission, I think. And that's going to be the last claim we get. I think we're going to go to war now. So let's go ahead and... You're busy. Yeah, you're done now. Cool. Um, hmm. So I think we're going to go ahead and say, get you in charge here. And, uh... Let's go ahead and come over to Korea. And say, declare war. Pyongyang will be our goal. Okay. They're 
The closest fort is in the mountains, besides their uh, capital fort, which doesn't really count. Okay, you get on the boats. You're gonna have to go to Tador. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and just split it up a little more. We have our good siege general in charge there, which is quite good. Oh, now that's an event I love. I every time, almost every time, I'll take this, but that's also good. I mean, they're both good, so let's take that. Um, I might also just go ahead and use this prestige to placate them, but let's wait a second on that. You're converting them. We won the siege already. That's insane. You guys go ahead and come over here. Let's see, we're gonna smash their navy. We might even capture some ships. No, it did not, but that's okay. Okay, we've uh, finished doing that. Let's go ahead and get you together there. Um, let's we should let's go to Chidore and spawn those rebels sooner, so that we can fight them and get it over with. If they're gonna spawn anyways, which they most most likely are. Okay, and I mean this war, I don't we don't, we don't even see their army, but. Um, we're in the Age of Reformation now. Convert in another nation. Okay, so force converting our vassals actually did help. And we could do a golden era. I think I've pretty much decided that we're gonna... We're gonna, like, save this for when we go into war with Ming. Because they're, we're gonna try to do the first couple wars with Ming um, pretty close together so that they don't have a chance to recover as much. You know, you just wanna... You wanna get ahead quickly when you decide to take the jump. And so we're gonna wait and that's gonna be our ace in the hole. Okay, we won that siege as well. Man, we're just, I mean, we're tearing through these sieges. I'm not super surprised. Our siege generals and our cannons are pretty good right now. Um, also, people were saying, hey, you should, like, build a ton of manufactories. Also, uh, global trade, people are saying, hey, um, when you, if you, if you build a lot of manufactories, it can really help with the trade value in that node. I wish we could see Europe, so we could see what is the strongest trade value, trade node in the world. I think it might be, like, this one, like Beijing. It, um, so if you don't know, I stream on, on Twitch. This may seem, like, not related, but it is. Um, I stream on Twitch, um, and my... I, I stream on Twitch, and we were doing some multiplayer with me and some of my streamer buddies this past weekend. And we were playing as Russia. I was as Russia. One of my uh, friends... Oh my god, Russia, you've expanded. Uh, I was playing as Russia. One of my friends was playing as the Ottomans. And another one was playing as France. And so we were all like doing like great powers, basically. Um, and it was fun. And we were all rich. We were all powerful. We were all... You know, we were numbers one, two, and three on the leaderboards. Except for Ming, right? Because Ming always is up there now. Um... And then Global Trade spawned, and we were like, oh, it's definitely going to be in our France player's land in the English Channel node, because he had conquered all of England, so he controlled the whole English Channel node, basically. And he had a big colonial empire by this point already. Or not a big one, but, like, pretty big, you know. So we're like, oh, it's obviously going to go there. Nope, it spawned in Beijing. And that's just crazy. <laughs> but, hey, I mean, that I think that means that... Yeah, okay, so I think that's probably where it's going to spawn. But hey, you know, actually, that's better than if it spawned in freaking Europe. <laughs> we would probably wouldn't have to do the development thing to get it, you know? Huh, so, so that's, uh... Yeah, that's interesting. Maybe, maybe that's what'll happen. We'll see. Um, either way, Rebel Uprising, Syakian Separatists are actually probably going to spawn first, which really sucks, but... Yeah, maybe we should go over there and deal with them, huh? Let's go ahead and get over there real quick. Um, uh, I don't really care about that either, to be honest. Um, we're going to go ahead and just keep sieging down this stuff. Take it. Korea, I don't want too much from you, okay? Probably gonna take Yukjin as well because it's part of this one state, so might as well. You know, we're already paying for the state maintenance. That's something I always forget to think about, but it's like you might as well take it. We're getting close to finishing up all of our national ideas, which is good. Oh, they fired. Did we make it there in time? We did. Okay, that's uh, 
quite good. Get back on the boats immediately, pretty much, and head back over to Tidore. Okay, we won the Siege of Gyeongju. Okay, and there's no forts up in the rest of their country, so we basically have won. There's their army. I don't. I mean, honestly, I don't really care to fight them, so let's not worry about it. Um. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna go ahead and say that we're gonna basically take the rest of your country, depending on how expensive it is. Again, I don't think this stuff is not nearly as expensive, so. I think that's what we take. We do have enough to core it all. It'll cost a little bit of Diplo on top of that. But I think that's okay. I do think it's worth it, you know, to just kind of consolidate the rest of Korea. There we go. We now own all of Korea. Korea now owns, uh, bleh, now owns zero Korean culture provinces. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, let's go ahead and make these all core. We don't want to have any vassals or anything. I don't think there are any vassals. Actually, there may be, maybe is Gongju or whoever it is right there. Or Zhangju. But, um, whatever. Let's go ahead and do that mission now. And I think that's it. That's basically it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and... I think... Again, I think that's most of what we want to do against Korea in the, in the near future. Um, we might focus on Ming now. Well, I don't know. We should eat more of, of Korea. We might as well, I guess, um, along the way. But we do have negative prestige. I decided, you know, screw it. I'd rather just have you be loyal so that I can royal marry you and make sure you're loyal. Um, hmm. I could start uh, annexing these people, but I don't think I want to just yet. I don't remember, was I going to vassalize Sunda? I don't remember. We definitely aren't pla uh, planning on integrating um, Johor anytime soon. Korean separatists, okay, that's fine. What about Pasai and Ternodin? Probably the Pasai ones first, but it's not too far between these areas. Um, I don't remember if we were going to vassalize Sunda or try to eat them. Hmm. I think we probably are going to focus on more Diplo annexation than anything else. I think that's probably what we're going to do. Farmlands, Highlands. I don't think we need this fort anymore. So I'm going to go and do that. Um, we've converted the heretics of Tidore, which is good. This should actually help with a bit of the unrest there. Now Ternate. Go to Pyongyang. There should be enough force limit there, right? Hey, Panai. Mahoy Minoy. Um, cool. Improve our prestige. We could definitely do that. And 100 admin is good, so let's do it. I mean, the thing is, Ming is really powerful. Obviously, but they're not that powerful. <laughs> you may be saying, like, what the fudge are you talking about? Um, they're really powerful, but I don't think they're actually necessarily as powerful as they seem. Institution spread in true faith province is really good. That one is actually also really good with what we have going on. Um, that one's all right, but we're not using mercenaries right now. That one's actually pretty good. That one's pretty good, especially for going to war with China soon. That one's useless, but... I mean, that one's... So that one's like, you know, B tier. C tier, B tier, A tier, A tier. One of, which one of these? Ten years till the next one, we get three... Seven a month. Seven a month. Hold on. Could... Oh god, I've gone way over on the time on this episode. Alright, cool. We're going to do some math in between episodes, and then we'll just talk about when we get back. Thank you guys for watching. Please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next episode of the Japan Campaign. So until then, bye-bye.